Welcome back to Huchos. Today on Huchos, I'm gonna show you how to propagate seedlings using cotton wool. That's right, cotton wool to propagate seedlings. This is one of the cheapest propagation techniques that you'll find, and it's actually remarkably effective as well. It does have some caveats, and we'll get to those, but if you're looking for a cheap and reliable way of starting seedlings for hydroponics or soil, this is a fantastic method. So I'll show you how you can achieve results like this. So to start with, you're gonna need some cotton wool or cotton balls. These are available at pharmacies or shops, pretty much any supermarket. You'll need a propagation tray that fits in it a densely packed cell insert, which you'll be able to use to fill with your cotton wool buds. Now this insert should touch all the way down to the bottom of the tray and it should be about the size of one cotton wool bud. You're also going to want the propagation tray and cell system to have a propagator lid which you can use to keep in the humidity while the seedlings germinate. So to the cells we're going to add in the cotton wool buds and we're going to press them all the way in so that they stick at the bottom. This is important so that they wick up from below when you add in nutrient and water and you want to do that with all of the cotton wool buds. So push them in, make sure they stick out the bottom. If they don't, push them in a little bit further. You can tease out the cotton wool buds so that they fit and then we're just going to fill out the rest of our propagator. This method turns out to be really cost effective. I think each cotton wool bud ends up costing about two cents each. Compared to propagation methods like Jiffy Peat pellets, which can cost upward of 16 cents per each pellet, that is a huge cost saving. It's even cost effective when compared to our cheap rock wool method of cutting up rock wool slabs and ascertaining rock wool media in that way. At this point, you wanna make sure that all of your cotton wool buds are pushed through to the base of the cell tray, and we're going to start by wetting the media. So we're just using water at this point, and we're filling up the bottom of the tray until we have enough water that the water level will surpass that of the bottom of the tray and wet our cotton wool buds like so. This will allow the water to wick up naturally and you won't actually need to wet the cotton wool buds from above. We'll just place out our seeds, press them into the wet buds and we'll put our propagators into our DIY propagation shelving unit and set up our time-lapse camera. And will you have a look at those results? Now, there are a few caveats, which we'll get to soon, but overall, I'm pretty happy with how the cotton wool performed in keeping moisture to the seed and supplying it with nutrients once it was added. So the second half of that time lapse was where the nutrients were added and I probably left it a little bit longer than I could have and that's when they really started to take off and green up. I did have one problem with the grow and you can see it in the second tray. Second tray was actually allowed to dry out almost completely. Around the edges it stayed a little bit more moist and you can see that because the seedlings around the edges have survived mostly. One of the biggest problems you'll probably have with this technique is because the cotton wool is such a small amount of media, you really are going to have to keep on top of the watering and the addition of hydroponic nutrient 
once they get to that stage. Because once you remove that dome, the water will evaporate or transpire through the plants. And there is a very real possibility that they'll dry out prematurely purely because there's just not that much water holding capacity within each one of these cotton wool buds. Just keep that in mind. If you're going to be away for long periods of time, possibly this isn't the right technique for you. But if you're able to maintain the moisture content within the cotton wool, it definitely is a fantastic alternative. Now with this tray, I've actually had a few lines fail, the seeds have failed. Uh, I only wanted to use one seed per cell because I have plenty even with the failure rate that I've had. And I think that the failure rate is about 30% on these seeds. I'm unsure whether that's the method or the seeds. However, if you wanted to negate that, you would just plant two seeds in each cotton wool bud and you would have a much larger success rate in each cell. The other caveat to this technique is that there is not really much supporting media if that is something that you are going to be using to support the plant within a hydroponic system. So as you can see, the plant has rooted down through the cotton wool bud and into the bottom reservoir. And if we lift this up, we'll see that all of our roots have made their way down into the bottom. Like so. And this is where they're getting their nutrients and water from, as well as in the cotton wool. They have actually sent roots down into the base of our propagator. And I'll take out this seedling here, which should be this root system here. And as I pull it through, should be able to get the roots to come through with it. And there's our seedling. And then from here, you can go into any hydroponic system or soil garden that you like. This would be ideal to be used within our cheap alternative crack key hydroponic system technique where we skewer the plants through the grow media which would work perfectly well with this technique. You could also use it in flood and drain systems, any clay media hydroponic system and the clay balls would just surround our cotton wool. And the same goes for any mediated system like cocoa perlite and I think you could even get away with putting these into an NFT hydroponic system. I think the limit to this would probably be more aggressively growing plants. So I don't think that you'd be able to get away with growing cucurbits unless you had perfect timing because they are really going to suck the water and nutrient out of these cotton wool buds. But for greens and lettuce, I think this method is a fantastic cheap alternative for propagation. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hucho's. Happy hydroponicking, and I'll see you next time on Hucho's.